It's Wednesday, time for our weekly trip to the new zoo. Neil Anderson joins us live this morning from Suamico. Good morning, Neil. Hey, good morning. What does reticulated well, mean? <laughs> reticulated, that's just a, a certain subspecies of giraffe. And what it has to do is with the pattern that is on the giraffe. Oh. And that's kind of the description. Yeah, so that's kind of what they call them. There's Maasai. There's a lot of different types of giraffes. I believe there's eight or nine subspecies that have different patterns and the reticulated is a reticulated pattern pattern very similar to like a reticulated python they have oh. the same kind of patches okay. yeah, so that's what that is but you know the weather's warming up so we're moving a lot of our animals from uh, behind the scenes to winter holding believe it or not <laughs> it's, they've been in winter holding for quite a while to uh, the outside exhibits and here uh, with me today is our albino alligator and this is Lucky. Now Lucky's been here for five years and this is our alligator exhibit. He came in from the St. Augustine Alligator Farm in Florida, like I said, about five years ago. There's less than a hundred that are albinos in the world. Uh, they all came from a, a particular nest area down in Louisiana. Uh, St. Augustine Alligator Farm had him and we had the opportunity to go ahead and purchase him. Oh, back five years ago and bring them in. But it's kind of neat to, this is an opportunity you know, for the public to get a chance to see an alligator up here, but to see an albino. And you can take a look at being an albino alligator, you know, they have a white yellowish skin, mm -hmm. but you can take a look at his eyes. And because he does not have any melanin, which is the skin pigment, that's why he's got that white yellow look to him. But his eyes, you'll notice they're clear. And, but they look red, and the reason they look red is because that's actually the blood vessels. Ew. Now with alligators, he'll spend, like say right now, that's a heated, heated pool. We heat that to about 78 degrees. We got a nice little spa heater, so he's able to go ahead, even if the nights get a little bit cool, uh, he's good to go. He's got heat lamps in the exhibit. He can regulate his temperature because you gotta remember he's a cold-blooded reptile. So his heat, and uh, it has to do with the surroundings of where he's at. So he has an opportunity to go out of the uh, water, go into different areas so he can cool down, he can heat up. But you know what's interesting too is because he's an albino, you'll notice with this exhibit, we have a cover over the exhibit. You know, we've got some lights in here uh, and they're real light sensitive because if you don't have pigment in your eyes, what happens is they're real, real light sensitive. For him to actually survive in the wild, he probably, if he hatched out, just because of the light sensitivity and the color, he probably lasts maybe 24 hours. That would really? be it. Wow. Yeah, so it's, you know, they don't last very long, and a lot has to do with the light sensitivity. So what we do is we have some light in here, real low lights in the exhibit. Uh, we can't have the direct sunlight on him because he would sunburn and he's sunburned uh, real quick. Yeah. So yeah, so we got to make sure that this exhibit is set up for him. It's really worked out well. We've had the exhibit going for five years. And if you want to see an alligator and to see an albino alligator, like I said, there's only about a hundred, you know, in the world. Uh, come on out to the zoo and we'll check, check them out. out. All we'll right. do. We'll check back with you next 